thanks for joining me today. Working on the hips can be some people's favorite, some people's enemy. But today we're going to have a really nice little balance between flexibility and strengthening. We're going to start this one in wide-legged child's pose. So go ahead, meet me on the mat in your most beautiful expression of wide-legged child's pose. Bring in the knees to the outside edges. Toes come towards each other. Send the hips back. Gaze comes forward and then we walk the hands forward. Maybe allowing the forehead to kiss the mat. And let's bring the awareness, all of our attention to the present moment. Starting with some nice inhales and exhales here. Gaining some control. Once again, while we're going to be moving today, I want you to be really mindful of the energy and the thoughts and everything that you're creating while we're moving. Making sure that you're not allowing negativity to creep up. You're keeping the thoughts lifted. We'll take one more round of breath. And we'll walk the hands over towards the right. Bringing that left hand on top of the right. Deep in the stretch. Breathing into that side body. I'll take one more round of breath here. And we'll come back to our center. And walk all the way over towards the left. Maybe bringing that right hand on top of the left to deepen the stretch. Big steady inhales and exhales. Beautiful. Slowly come back to our center position here. We can bring the gaze forward and we're going to peel ourselves up into our all fours position. Bring in the knees under the hips. Shoulders are over our wrists. You are happy yogi here. All the hard work's over. You showed up and we've got moving. We're going to step this right foot in between the hands. A little low lunge action. Let's go ahead and feel into this first low lunge. Nice big breaths. And we're going to tuck the back toes. So now we're in more of a runner's lunge. And on an inhale, we'll rise up into our high lunge. Arms up and overhead. And we're going to lower that back knee all the way down. And there's one. Let's lift up into high lunge. And lower back down for two. Lift up. And lower. Three. Lift up. Lower. Four. Up. Lower. That's five. Up. And lower. Six. Up. Lower for seven. Up, lower for eight, up, lower for nine, and up, lower for ten. Hands come to the mat. Let's push back calf splits. You can release the tuck of the left toe. Squaring off the hips here. The 
inhales allow us to lengthen and the exhales allow us to travel deeper. Beautiful, we'll roll back into our low lunge here and then step it back. And let's do the other side. So left foot steps in between the hands. I'm gonna feel into this low lunge first. Pushing into that left hip here. And let's go ahead and tuck those right toes. Little runner's lunge action. And on an inhale, we'll rise up, high lunge. And we lower for one lift. Lower, two, lift. Lower, three lift, lower for four, lift, lower for five, lift, lower for six, lift, lower for seven, lift, lower for eight, lift, lower for nine, lift, and lower for 10, hands come to the mat, push back half splits, squaring off this left hip here, and breathing. One more round of breath here, and then we'll roll forward and step back. We're all fours, tucking the toes, sending the hips up and back. Go ahead and pedal the feet out here. A little stretch through the calves and the hamstrings. And wherever you are, I'm gonna come up on those tiptoes. Hop, step, jump, walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we'll peel all the way up to standing. Roll on the shoulder blades down the back body. Big smile on the face. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale, arms come down to come back up. Exhale, we slice through the sky. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step the feet back. Lower down the knees and then the chest and the chin. Roll forward into our cobra. Maybe lift the hands off, play with that back work here. And exhale, hands plant, toes stuck, up and back. Down dog. Very nice job. Let's go ahead and inhale. We're going to hop, step, jump again to the top of the mat. Half lift. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to take a big swooping motion with our arms. So the arms are back behind us here. We're going to bring them down to come up into chair. And that's one. Swoosh down. And back up for two. Swoosh down. Back up for three. Swoosh. Maybe making that sound if it feels good. Back up for four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up six. Down. Up seven. Down. Up eight. Down, up nine, down, and ten, chair, and stand up. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a breath here. We're going to shift the weight over to the left foot. Pick the right up. 
We're coming in for leg lifts. We love this hip flexor work here. So go ahead, pick that right leg up and let's pulse it. One, two, three, four, five. Swing it around, hands come to the mat, either warrior three prep or standing splits. Breathing. And we're gonna come back around, swinging this leg around, coming back, leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five. Swing it around, standing splits, warrior three prep. And let's do it again, inhale, swinging it through, coming up. One, two, three, four, five. Swinging it around, hands come to the mat. <laughs> Using our standing splits as our resting position. <laughs> One more time. Inhale, we come up. One, two, three, four, five. Swing it back. <sighs> you should be feeling this in both of your hips. And exhale, right plants beside left. And let's just rag doll it out here. Being mindful of the energy we're creating. We'll take one more round of breath here. And we'll peel ourselves all the way up. Rolling the shoulder blades down that back body. Big smile on your face. Shift the weight to the right. Pick that left foot up. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Swing it around. Standing splits, warrior three. Prep. <laughs> Hands are on the mat. Like I said, this is a resting position, but it's still active. Inhale, come back up. And we lift one, two, three, four, five. Swing it around. And again, inhale, we come up. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Swing it through. One more time. Inhale to rise. And one, two, three, four, five. Swing it around. Last time standing split. And exhale, left meets right. Let's go ahead and heel to those feet, outside edges, yogi squat. Bringing the elbows to the knees. If you wanna bring your blanket under your heels or blocks or folding your mat up, just finding whatever feels good for you right here. Just a nice little gentle hip stretch. We're going to take one more big deep round of breath here. Before we plant our hands, send the booties up. Heel to the feet together. So hold. Plant the hands and step the feet back down dog. <laughs> Inhale. Right leg sweeps up. Bend through the knee and do some hip circles here. So we'll do three one way. And we'll reverse that circle and go the other way. Beautiful. Replace the right. Let's kick the left up. Bend the knee. And take three one way. And 
reverse it. Very nice. Inhale, right leg sweeps up. Step in between the hands, pivot on that back foot, and inhale, rises us up. Warrior two. Beautiful. And bring your hands to heart center. We're coming down, Skandasana on the right. Shift over, Skandasana on the left. You can bring the hands to the mat if you need. Back to the right. Beautiful. Frame this right foot. Left hand plants. Right hand sweeps up. Right hand drops down. Pivot on the outer edges of the feet. Revolve Skandasana. And back around, framing the foot, stepping it back, plank. That's vinyasa, look forward, push forward, lower down, push up. Everybody meets, down dog. We're just gonna breathe here for three rounds of breath. If you wanna take child's pose, I'll take it with you. And slow as ever, we're gonna peel up, meeting everybody back, down dog. Left foot sweeps up, step it in between the hands, pivot on that back foot, and come up into our warrior two here. Settle in, hands to heart center. Skandasana over towards the right. And back to the left. And back to the right. We're going to have to do this one <laughs> once more than the other side, but that's okay. And back to the left. Beautiful job. Pivoting back around, right hand plants, left hand sweeps up. I think I'm noticing, I told y'all the wrong hands on the other side. I know y'all know what I'm talking about though. And pivot to the outside edges, allow that left hand to come down. Everyone's favorite, revolves Kandasana. If this is one of your favorite moves on this channel, please comment and let me know. Back around, framing the foot, stepping it back, plank. Look forward, push forward, lower down. Push up, up dog, everybody meets, child's pose. Forehead kisses the mat. And we're just here for a few rounds of breath. And ever so slowly, we peel up. Mermaid those legs to the side. If you're into rocking and rolling, that's what's next. If you're not into rocking and rolling, you can go ahead and find boat pose. We're going to do our boat to low boat. This will be our sixth time doing it this week. And tomorrow is going to be our last day doing it this week. <laughs> so... Coming in for the boat. 
and let's go down up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we're coming to low boat and holding five four three two one hug those knees in very beautiful we're coming in for shoelace so this right leg's going to come over the left and then we're going to try to grab for the feet or the toes whatever we can get our hands on and then just pull towards the body here maybe closing the eyes down starting to notice everything you've done you've put in some good work already And slowly release and now the right's on the bottom left's going to come over the right and then grab for those feet always noticing the difference between sides and there will always be a difference And ever so slowly, we'll release, send those legs out long, tuck the shoulder blades, let's come in for a Shavasana here, you deserve this. Let's all take a releasing breath out, so we're going to inhale, and then we'll sigh it out. Let's do this together, inhale. And sigh it out. <sighs> Let's do it again. Inhale. And sigh it out. Get a light wiggle with the fingers and toes. You can stay here or you can push into the fetal position and meet me in our comfortable seat. The choice is yours today. Try to bring your hands to heart center. Mm. 
We're going to go ahead and say thank you to all the yoga teachers who have come before me, who allow us to honor this tradition of connecting the breath with our movement. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope your hips feel yummy, and I look forward to seeing you on the mat tomorrow.